What's up, bros and hoes? It's Ashley Optic Midnight bringing you my first Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary. I wanted to do this video to not only show you the beast free for all I got here on Carrier, I think is what the map is called. I'm still iffy with the map names and all that stuff. Uh, but I wanted to talk about this gun that I'm using, which is the MSMC, I believe, if I'm not like dyslexic or whatever. I'm bad at abbreviations. But the reason I wanted to bring you this commentary is to tell you guys that. I'm gonna let you on a little secret. This is the best gun in the game. I don't know if it's gonna be MP40 status, like World at War, because I know that de the developers over at Treyarch, David Wandahar and his entire multiplayer team, they are going to be patching this game like crazy, I'm assuming. They, they did a lot for us in Black Ops 1, and I believe that if there's a problem with any weapons, any unbalanced issues, uh, you know, I think they're going to be taken care of. And the reason that the SMGs, I think, are going to excel even more so than usual in this game um, is because they just are so powerful. And in, in Modern Warfare 3, you know, you had the MP7, you had the PP90. Those were pretty powerful guns. But I think it's on a whole other level in Black Ops 2. And here in this gameplay, I believe, I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I'm using, I know I'm using the laser. I can tell that by looking at it. And I might be using, uh, I think I might only be using the laser, I'm not sure. But, uh, the, the, the laser sight basically is like steady aim. So now instead of having some perks that are in the perk slot, they're basically attachments for your gun. Same goes with quick draw. There is no quick draw perk. It is a, an attachment called quick draw, which literally does the same thing. Brings the gun to your face faster. Now with this laser sight on, on this gun, it's and in most SMGs, it's just insane. You could literally go around hip firing an entire town and probably kill everybody, like without missing. It's insanely accurate. I don't know if it's if if it was released on purpose like that or if it was overseen. Obviously I'm sure there was a lot of testing that was done to to this game to, to see the, the weapons and how it how balanced they are or not. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to be using this gun because I do have that feeling that it will be patched eventually. Maybe, uh, maybe not, though, because at the same time, you know, there's other SMGs that excel. You know, with everything that you can do now with the changing the fire rate and, and changing, like, pretty much everything in your class to kind of be suitable for your weapon, it's, wow, look at that fail made. <laughs> it bounced off the wall. Uh, but yeah, with everything that you can do to your classes, you know, you can make uh, other SMGs powerful kind of type of thing. So, I think that that's really cool. I think that the amount of customization in this game is really awesome. And I really do think that this is going to be the rape gun. You know, when you'd go on Modern Warfare 3, you would see a lot of MP7. And I think this is the gun that will be like the MP7. There is an actual MP7 gun in Black Ops 2, but... I gave it a shot, and I like this gun way better. I love the iron sights on the gun. You don't have to throw a red dot on it. It's nice. Um, and, and I just enjoy it. I think, it, like I said, I think it's the best SMG. So if you're looking for a gun, if you're like, man, what gun should I really work on, you know, you should uh, unlock this one. It's a pretty low-level unlock. I think you only have to rank up, like, a little tiny bit to get it. And then you can just go uh, go hammer time from there. And, and nobody will really know it yet because the game's just come out. Like, in, in about a month, or maybe even less, this will be common knowledge that this SMG is one of the best. But right now, nobody knows, so go use the shit out of it. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do anyway. I'm, I want to experiment with other guns too, though. Like I said, the classes, you know, the customization you can do to the actual gun and to your class is really awesome. I think it's really awesome, so. Right here, I'm on ammo, so I'm like freaking out trying to find another gun. And I like how I like how you don't have to have a secondary. Later on today, I should be uploading a commentary about my first impressions of Black Ops 2. Uh, usually, uh, obviously, I wouldn't do a first impressions video on the very first day of me having the game, but I've had the game for almost a week now. I've played the crap. I've played many, many hours on the multiplayer. I feel like I have a good grasp enough to at least make a first impressions video. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, there's some things that I really like, and there's some things that I notice, and I kind of want to go over them in a commentary and uh, just, just show you guys that. So anyway, yeah, the, the reason I really wanted to bring this out, though, was I thought this was a pretty beast free-for-all gameplay. I mean, considering the, the score streaks are a little bit more difficult to get. Like, you know how in Black Ops 1... You could just throw dogs on and go into free-for-all, and if you killed, 
whatever it is, nine people, ten people, whatever it is to get dogs, I forget the number, but you could just go in there, get that little quick kill streak, you know, especially if you used a blackbird. You could get that really quick, and as soon as you called in your dogs, the game was over, pretty much. Well, it's a lot different in Black Ops 2 as far as score streaks and, and how to get them, especially in a game mode like Free For All, where there's no objective besides getting those kills or those, those score points from getting kills. So I, I actually tried it. I went in Free For All in, uh, in the combat training, and I had to. I think I had to get 15 kills before I even got close to getting dogs, before I got my dogs and called them in. So I thought 30 and 5 was pretty decent, especially on this uh, sort of large map with this beast gun you guys should definitely use this gun like i said it's not really super common knowledge that it's the best smg yet so there's there's a little tip for you i also wanted to share the beast gameplay with you so like i said i'm going to be uploading uh, my first impressions later on today so keep on the lookout for that if you did enjoy this video i said you please give me a like and a favorite i'm really trying to put out the best content that I can for Black Ops 2 and I hope you guys did enjoy so if you do enjoy my videos go ahead and hit the like button favorite subscribe all that stuff anyways guys have a good day peace Whoa. I feel like I feel like I'm in Pirates of the Caribbean right now this shit is crazy